Good morning everyone, welcome to my coffee time with God. I think one of the most often forgotten focuses of the Lent season is giving to others. When I think of Lent, I think of fasting and prayer first, preparing for Easter, repentance of sin, and giving is just as important as those areas of focus. The reason it's so important is that it is a central part of God, of who God himself is. God gives to all of us all that we have. He is generous to all. God set an incredible example for us in the area of giving. He did not spare his own son. Just take a moment to reflect on what, really, what that really means. God loves us so much. So much that when it came to the choice, between his son and us, he freely gave his son so that we might be saved for all eternity. And because he was willing to give up his son, he was also graciously give us all things, all the things, all the things that we have or will ever have are gifts of God, freely given from a generous God. In our reading today, it says that there will be poor in the land. Isn't that true? There will always be someone in need. It may be in need of money, food, a kind word, or helping hand. When we see need, we are instructed to open wide our hands, giving the generosity of God to the people He created. Earlier in Deuteronomy 15, we are cautious not to harden our hearts to not shut our hands against the poor. You shall give to him freely, and your heart shall not be, gr be grudging when you give to him, because from this the Lord your God will bless you in all your work and all your undertaking. Deuteronomy 15.10 We are to give with an open heart and an open hand. When we do, God will bless us. Our work will be blessed. God gives to those who give so that we could give more generously. Today, be on the lookout today for someone in need. How can you help someone in your family, your neighborhood, your work, your church? If you find this content helpful, please smash that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you tomorrow.